feel like the fun part about this game is that I'm stuck fighting banshees and ghosts on half my hit points. Definitely fun. Would totally recommend. I don't understand any other way to play this game. Um, it's still fun though. So, uh, if I can't get through New Londo in a few episodes, though, I will be cancelling the series. So thanks for sticking around for 20-something episodes. We're on 26 now. We might get up to episode 30 if I can't progress. As you can see, um, I can hit them because I'm cursed, but I've only got half my hit points, which is a pain. So uh, hit that follow sub button thingy. And yeah, we, we'll be having some fun for a bit, but we might be cancelling the series just because um, stuff like this keeps happening to me. It's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, so coming up we have, we have New Londo Ruins being awesome and having ghosts and we found a room with ceramic vases which happened to be surrounded by, um, ghosts and died nearly immediately because there were lots of ghosts and I couldn't heal in time. So let's roll intro. Hey there, welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls. I'm your host, Yolti. If you remember from last episode, which I announced that we were cursed, we are in fact still cursed because I did this on an episodic basis, not a time lapse. So we're going back into New Londo without any uh, health because I decided to fight a gecko. And it went well the first time, and then after that, it didn't quite go so well. Very good liar. There's no liar there, so how can. Oh, there's a cliff there. This is a really weird place, like out in the distance you can't see much, but there's a distance. It's interesting because distance from... Anyway, um, so if you remember last episode I died because I was like after the items and I decided to like, walk off a cliff and lose a few thousand souls. Maybe a few hundred souls. I lost count at one. Because basically, it doesn't really matter until you kill a boss and lose the souls that way because there's still the same amount of souls going through. Unless there's no more mob spawns and you run out of souls, in which case, what have you been doing dying on every other mob spawn? Hey, you can see my souls from here. Um, where are we going? Down here. Oh, it could hurt. Hello, sir. Have you come to talk about my lord and savior, me? Oh. No? Okay. The good news. You don't need to pray for that urn anymore, because one is destroyed and so are you. Triple kill. Oh, no, you live. You get to live longer than they. No, you, you survived. You did good. You, however. So where's my stamina gone? That all the stamina I had this whole time? It can't be right. He's got underwear on. Nope. Oh. But can I be a cursed human? It must be possible. So, the curse lets me hit the undead, which is neat. But the downside is, there is undead that I have to fight now because I am cursed. But they don't seem to be uh, hitting me very well. Oh, good when they do that. The scissor technique. Or the pincer move. God damn it. Excuse me, do you mind if I just figure out how to hit you? Straight ahead, right? Yeah, okay, thank you. And I just do it again, and you're dead. Problem solved. Apparently these can drop transient curses as well, which lets you kill them. So it's like a win-win for me. It's when they die. Two, I get to live longer because the enemy died. Um, three, I die because the enemy died. Excuse me. You're still spawning, so can I kill you? Not if I press the wrong button. Is there another way down there? I didn't think about. Oh, there's a ladder. 
and stairs. Come on. No. Don't know why I did that. Made the same mistake as the last time. You jump, you go straight down. You you can't jump that way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to try. But there's five minutes of the video wasted. Oh, you're alive again. Hello. Hmm. What business do you have? If you have none, then stay silent. Oh. You have none. Well, you know, it could be helpful. He gave me information before. Like, hey, go into New London, you'll die. Should I press this button when I go down next time? Is there must be a button at the bottom that brings it back up? If I pull that, it means that I can get back up quicker not to worry about anything well the change it so well, those chains are going down okay th those are moving but they're obviously firmly attached how's that work they have 3d chains they are 2d chains okay there's their lever Oh crap, there we go. Oh, there is a lever. Okay, there's a way out. This means that when I die inevitably again, I can get back up. Greetings. I see you're still praying to your urn. You live. You, however, die. If I miss them, they get to live. I'm not gonna miss because their hitboxes are wider than their bodies, but the off chance they do, they are so living. Hello. Greetings, Mr. Dead Person. I'm your messiah and your pariah. You will pray to me, you will bow to me, and you will bring me cookies. Someone bring, someone send cookies from your country to me somehow. I don't, I don't mind how, just figure out a way, okay? Baked goods from other countries, now that's the, that's the YouTuber lifestyle I want. <laughs> now this, uh, what, what do YouTubers have to do with this Chilling, uh, merchandise, I don't even have merchandise, I do do thumbnails, however, if you guys want to, uh, new thumbnails from my channel. Yes, it's an hour. There's more than well, there's sometimes more than one person. Most of the time, it's me. But we did get some people working on stuff. Like uh, some person poke at me. Did um, did uh, oh shit! It's heal up about that. Stop, enemy! Cut it out! Don't even know where you came from. There's a few blood stains there, so I'm guessing people are going, oh, maybe you can jump across, like I did. Damn it. Too many of them. This is rough. That's how I reinforce my weapon, like something. I feel like just making myself go through over and over again would be a better plan. 
And good thing that I made the floor go up this time, because now I can just go straight back down. Where's the entrance? There it is. We. So yeah, ghosts are dangerous. That's why I left the light on for this recording, because uh, I don't do well with horror themes. No, seriously, I don't do the well of horror themes. The contraption does not move. Well, good thing we got a workaround for this. I could use soul arrows on them as well. But I feel like just, like, hitting them all with a wide attack has been a better plan so far, so I'll keep to that. The single target, I think I'll have to target and get in close because their hitboxes are really strange. They don't they don't sit on their bodies, they hit kind of like through their bodies, which I guess if you're in corporal you don't really have a body, so how do I hit your body in the first place? But um maybe I need the shield as well just to parry these better. I do fifty percent damage. Okay, shield does a full block. Oh, I'll go to a circle hit there. That's three shots with the pole arm. Feel a bit safer doing that with the shield out, so we're probably doing that for now. I might use the grass. Where is it? Grass crust. It has a, a stamina thing. I probably need the stamina more than anything right now because I'm in a situation where things will hit me and I will die. So how quickly oh, I can target right away? Two. Three. Hello. Oh shit! Hello. Where'd you come from? I literally just got executed there. <laughs> okay. Gotta keep my eyes out for that. It goes all those souls. Three and a half thousand souls lost to the abyss. Blocking did nothing there because they got snuck up on, so small sample size is small. Maybe blocking when there's many and then counterattacking with a pirouette. It's not like I'm making zero progress, it's just I just said it made minus progress, which is more than zero. It's a negative number. If you multiply it by itself, you get a positive, and that's a good thing. Uh, where are we going? We're going this way. I like how these guys respawn. You can literally just grind souls for days here. But it's next to zero souls, and by grinding this game, you've literally given up because there's no point. But yeah, we're gonna keep an eye out for things that are behind us now, because the camera view doesn't let you sink things behind you anyway, so. Die. Again. Jagged Ghost Blade. Interesting. Let's see how this does.
There's two stabs. We're testing out weapons on new enemies. Love it. Give me, can you mind? Oh, it doesn't hurt. What? Stop it. Stop hitting me. Honestly. I know you got a spawner, he's gonna do it now. One, two. <sighs> For the glory of me. Dodge out. Another one, car series. Die. Any more of you? Come on. We're in a fight. Oh shit, there is. <sighs> Traction does not move. That limits my directions to go in. Come on, be more. Are you in a wall? This was the hit you of your. That's better. Fucking ghosts. Don't come out of the wall. Face me. Screaming me. Come down. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Come on, my lovely. Oh. There you go, your frames are in line with my blade right now. Oh. Sorry, it was a short term relationship. Guarded by years of hate. <laughs> I send thee to thy rest. Playing this game. I'm fairly intriguing. Where'd you go? Two of you. Guess you can float across there now. How do you clip through the ground then? You can't do both. best run ever through these ruins. I still don't know where I am.
You whores. Holy shit. That is not a room to be in. Force my weapon. Hello. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy the great swamp, so I can use my methods with a bit of care. Oh yeah. By the way, I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and, and this. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use. Some is here. First, a flame from the great swamp. Now you're up. Why? Well, let's get started, right? Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode where we take on stuff with our upgraded kit. Hopefully. Laters.